Hello everyone, and I'll be showing you guys how to make a 1.20 Forge Minecraft server using Feather Clients and also the Ketting once again. Just Red told me that he added Feather Client support, so as you can see here, he added Feather Client support, so that's why I'm doing this. And he also messaged me saying to do a video on it, so that's why I'm doing a video on it. Make sure to subscribe for more tutorials and all that stuff. The first thing you need to do is you need to go to the releases page. The releases page will show you the latest releases. Now, download the one that says Ketting Launcher 1.3.7. This link, by the way, will be down in the description. This one, this one right here, um, this link. You go down here, scroll down. You see the the blue thing, the least pages. Go click on that. Ketting Launcher, download that. Is on download on there. Meanwhile, in the link below, you also see a link for Feather Clients. By link below, once again, I mean in the description. So here it is, Feather Clients. You're gonna go down to servers. I actually have a bunch of different servers here. So I'm just gonna edit this one. Now this could be your server name, whatever you want your server name to be. This is also your, for your IP. Some people will claim IPs and stuff. So you can't just type in anything. You have to make sure that it's a unique IP comparison to everyone else. The way that you'll know that is if it'll tell you like if it's an IP that's already used before. But anyways, you go down to custom Java version 21 and it says here for slots, you can just like put whatever you want. Then there's RAM here. Then he also has a specific set launch argument. So I'm actually gonna copy and paste that myself. These are the launch arguments that he recommends right here. This is gonna be down in the description as well. Paste the launch arguments. As you can see, it's right here. Now we get to save the server. We have to save the server. Hit the gear icon, open folder. Find wherever your Ketting Launcher file is, most likely to be in the downloads folder, and then drag and drop or copy and paste or do whatever to get it into the folder that you just opened up, which is the server folder. So as soon as you get this right here, rename it to server, and then it should say server.jar if you have the file extensions enabled, so it should say server.jar. And for the first time that you're launching up the Ketting files, What's gonna happen is it's gonna ask you for the version number. So as you can see here, it supports 1.20.1, 1.20.2, 1.20.3, and 1.20.4. We're gonna type in 1.20.1, and then it loads up all the libraries for 1.20.1, and it's gonna go through the patching phase, and then eventually it's gonna start loading up the world. And that is basically it for the Feather Client server. Now, of course, I need to actually show you that it works. So I'm gonna copy the IP that I have and join it in the server. If you watched all up to this point, it would be very really, really appreciated if you subscribe right now. All right, so we're gonna run the test right now. And as you can see here, the server is up and running. We're gonna join the world. And as you can see right here, we got ourselves a Minecraft server using the Feather Client. I mean, the Ketting Jar works to its perfection, and as you can see, it actually runs very fine, and I just fell into a hole. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial.